I've got another shot here with several boats moving backwards and forwards, and I'm going to drag the colour board onto this boat here. Now it can't quite detect that boat very well, so I'll just drag the shape in manually and press Analyze and see how it goes. Now it goes forward quite well. Again, using the combined analysis method, and then drags backwards. And look, that's also doing quite well. Tracking is very fast, but it'll be even faster on an Apple Silicon machine. This is tracking on an Intel iMac from 2017. And look, this is doing pretty well. Now, as before, I could adjust the color. And let's say I make this more obvious. I'll put a little blue box on there, head to the shape, and just adjust the softness of that shape to limit the correction a bit more. Now, this clip has actually got a track on here already. I can go back to the video properties for this clip. And at the bottom, there's a new section called Trackers, underneath the Spatial Conform section. I've got one object track here, where I tracked this boat. And you can see there's actually a problem with that track, which I'll get to in a second. And here's the one which I just added, the second object track. Now, there's an icon here to show the on-screen controls for each one of these tracks. You can also just click the name of the track. It is possible, though, to double-click and rename each of these tracks if you want to uh, manage multiple tracks in a single shot effectively. When you add a track, you're actually creating a keyframe on every frame that's tracked. And so if you have a problem with the track, and I do in my first boat here, you're going to want to start out by deleting the bad bit of the track. So what happened here was that the first boat was tracked. And let's just make this a far more obvious correction. Let's make this boat yellow. As I play this forward, you'll see that the boat is yellow, but you can tell it's going to go out of frame. And what happens to the tracker is it gets confused and attaches itself to that next boat. So here's what you can do. You can right click and say Show Tracking Editor on the tracked clip it will show you tracking data in this new line above the top. Now, if I want to remove a bad bit of track data, and I think certainly that end from about there is bad data, then I can just drag a selection over that whole area. And as soon as I let the mouse go, I get a menu to reanalyze or to delete. And I'm going to delete that tracked data. And now you can see that at the end, the track simply stops. Now I want to go back to the video properties so I could manually keyframe to position that mask out of frame because it can't track an object out of frame. And I think by there, it should have moved down further. So I'm going to move the tracker out of frame like that. And now you'll see that it's actually interpolated between the last bit of track data and the frame which I created. And it's created a new keyframe here. You can jump between the existing keyframes, which is to say every single frame in the automatically tracked area. And then it's going to jump to the last keyframe that I made manually there. Now, if you zoom in on the timeline, you can see where you've created a new manual keyframe. It is possible then to work with a track that eventually goes bad by manually fixing the final frames if you need to. And you can, of course, move things completely out of frame to just get rid of them once they go past the edge of the shot. In the next video, I'll show you how to track an effect rather than a color correction.